Number one, helmet. You know the old adage is safety first, so let's start off with safety gear. When you ride a one-wheel scooter, the most important accessory is a helmet. While a fender is important to keep your shoes and legs clean, the side handles make it easier to carry your shorter one-wheel. A good helmet can protect you from the invisible and the destructive injury. Because of the nature of sport of shorter one wheel, falling is un- inevitable. That's why we must wear helmets to minimize the risk of irreparable injury. Your brain is very important. It is not worth risking your brain so that you can look cool when riding. There are many different helmet styles to choose from, each with their own selection of colors and designs. Firstly, make sure the helmet has all the safety features. Then you can choose a fashion and a comfortable style that makes you different. Wrist guards. Falling down even at a low speed has the possibility of a wrist injury. You don't want to know how painful a wrist fracture is. It's great if you have wear your helmet. Now we do suggest you wear some wrist guards. It will protect your wrist during the hard impacts. When you ride in your shorter one wheel in cold weather, the four finger wrist guard is the best choice. The half finger wrist guard glove is another popular choice. When you ride in hot days, a four finger glove get a bad sweaty. Number three, shoes. The shoes will be the interface between the rider and the board, applying the pressure to activating the sensor and making the board move. For this, it's recommended to use a shoe with a flat sole. Any shoe with a raised heel or a gap between the heel and the toes is going to make for uneven pressure distribution and risking fall or fall from the board. When looking for shoes, it's a good idea to start in the skateboard shoes. These kind of shoes are the best way to go and are often built with high quality and durable material. High top shoes are great for beginner. They will give added ankle support. If you fall asleep and hit the wheel, a high top shoes is added protection. Ride with low top shoes will free up your ankle movements for more technical riding, and they are easy to put on. High top or low top is a personal choice. Choice when you are riding your shorter one wheel. Number four, fender. Fender is helpful to reduce injuries to your mag wheel and protect your shoes from mud. The fender structure protects the wheel against impacts, and it can be hand installed at home. When your mag wheel passes through puddles, mud, gravel, and snow, it may be get pounded into your tire. Although this can be cleaned. The fender can enhance protection, prolong the one wheel's life, and prevent moisture from penetrating the motor. When you ride in mag wheel in shorts, small sharp pendles on the road may splash and hurt your leg or feet. If the fender is installed, you can ride safely without injury. If you ride the one wheel skateboard in your new socks or shoes. You certainly don't want the splash soil to dirty them. With the fender, your mag wheel and shoes will never get dirty again. Everyone has their own style. You can use some decor- decorative color strips to DIY some patterns on the fender to make your o- own one wheel skateboard more different from others. Number five, handle. Shorter one wheel is around 30 pound weight. It's heavy. If you have ever had to carry your shorter any distance, you, then you know how difficult it can be. That is why the shorter one wheel comes then with a handle. Adding a handle to your ride won't eliminate a possible work, but it will make it a whole lot easier.